Being on stage, it's like an alternate universe, and you can be anything you want to be when you're on stage. That's the exciting part, especially when, you know, you get into this groove with the audience where you really start to connect. And for us as a band, we really, you know, Noel and I really work hard to make the, the audience another member of the show. famous con organ uh, and this organ kind of started the whole entire band and the whole project off. I was going through a terrible breakup. I got a phone call from my ex and uh, I was like, oh, I'm not taking that phone call. She left a message. She said her neighbor had this family emergency, had to move that day and he had this huge organ in his basement, selling it for 50 bucks. Called her right back, put 50 bucks in that guy's hand now. And then I feverishly had to like find piano movers that would move it that day. These kind of slightly shady Russian piano mover guys to, uh, to come in and and uh, I still didn't even know if it worked, and I turned it on, and I hit... That night, you know, the first song, Breaking the Chains of Love, was written. Set the compass for how I wanted to be as a vocalist and the direction that we wanted to take uh, for this band. Um, it's a huge part of what, what created the, the Fits and the Tantrum sound, so... Sometimes you just need to be able to give the audience permission to, to have fun and to let go a little bit. And at first they might be a little shy or self-conscious, but once they see other people having a good time, usually by the end of our show, you know, people have forgotten about how they're looking or who's standing next to them and they're just in it with us. Exactly. Whoa. 